here we go. All right. So incredibly, I did this video without sound. I had the, the computer on mute. So we're going to do this again. I'm going to do it again. Maybe with some improvements, I hope. This is my, my art caddy. This is what I have parked beside my, uh, my drawing board when I'm working. It's made of cast aluminum. Very sturdy, very strong. It's on wheels, obviously. You can see that, right? And on the bottom, I have these plastic utility containers, something you would get at a, a hardware shop, I guess. I got it at Lowe's somewhere in Philadelphia. Inside, these are pretty empty now because I went through it and just put essentials in there. But I'll have something like this, a roll of toilet paper, which is really good for using as a blotter. Um, when you have uh, ink that you want to absorb on a piece, uh, just roll this over. Okay, literally roll it. Don't, don't press it. Don't do anything. Just roll it over the piece and it'll pick up any extra ink. On the other side I've got, I've got odds and ends and stuff all over here. Um, what I was blogging about in my uh, DA journal was this thing. This is a tray, pulls out, locks into place, dips down a little bit when it's fully extended, and this holds my, my instruments. And that's good because what happens is in the course of a day, you know, if you have everything up here and then you have a book and then you have a lunch or a dinner plate, cup of coffee, anything, all of this up here starts to get so cluttered that, that you find yourself piling stuff on top of other stuff to get to it. And I just don't like that. So I made a tray. Underneath is this tray is another tray. It's locked to it and slides in and out on it. Just like, just like in an oven, right? Um, in the other video, the first one I did, I, I showed close-up of the tray and what I was saying, what I was doing was, was showing you the actual instruments. Like this is a large core, a large core graphite lead, uh, 5.6 lead holder. It holds slightly smaller lead than the other one. Oops, let's close that. Just, just got that. That was an impulse buy. Here's my chalk holder holding a Musgrave pencil, which is a large core, big pencil. And then the rest of this stuff. Here are a couple of pen holders, I mean pencil extenders that I really should not have bought. And another one. I just had to get this one too. Waste of money when, when you can kill two birds with one stone. You get yourself a stick eraser like this, Pentel. You have your eraser on one end. Once you start using it a little bit, you can stuff pencil stubs in the other end. And it's, it's perfect. You don't have to go any farther than this, but hey, you know, I guess that's status. I also have a flat pencil, carpenter's type pencil. Uh, and these I use as calipers. I used to use them for for measuring, um, measuring proportions. Hardly use it now for anything. And then of course the pens. More pens than I need. More pens than I use. In there is also a uh, a grease pencil, which comes in handy for special effects. And then up on top, whoops. where I keep the ink. There's an old sock in there, literally a sock that I, I wet. It's like a sponge. It keeps this area uh, moist. Uh, the air is humid. In the wintertime especially, that's important. This time of year, it doesn't matter anymore. The other thing on top there is my paddle. I keep it in this thing so that I don't get graphite all over the place. And then I have my, my brushes. These are the new ones that I talked about, the ones I bought. 
this little thing. I don't know if you can see the bottom. That's the inside of a. Uh, it's, it's a a pest. This came with a pesticide can. Okay, this was the cap, and I cut the the front part of the cap off, and now this little piece in the in the center that used to protect the uh, the spray that holds the container for the brushes, and with a couple of stick pins you can actually tack that into your your drawing board and use the board when it's fully tilted and these things won't fall out. And finally this is where I keep the water. I don't know if you can get a, a good view of that. Up to five jars now. Four for, for just cleaning the brushes. One has detergent in it. One is just plain water. The other one is plain water, but it's like the uh, the final rinse. Uh, this one, I believe, is vinegar, white vinegar. I experimented with that for cleaning the brushes. And this one I use, well, this one there, which is empty because everything evaporated. That I use when I'm using the white stuff. Okay, I don't I don't wash that off in the same in the same jar with uh, that I wash the ink off in. And uh, let's move that out of the way. Cane's falling down. This is what I wanted to show in the other video, the one that I nixed. That used to be my turbaret. That used to take the place of this. That's that's what this takes the place of, is what I should say. But uh, when I had the mouse problem, I started putting the cat food up there and uh, discovered that the cat is eating less because he's a lazy son of a gun. He's a male, of course. And when I keep the food up there, he, he knows he has to work to get it, so he only eats it when he's hungry. He doesn't eat it to like pass time, which is a trick I used with another cat, a female cat who was overweight. It really worked for her in controlling her weight but he sort of commandeered that. That is now something that he expects. So uh, I now use this. And this is more convenient anyway because it, it tucks under, tucks under my, uh, my board and, and gets out of the way. All right, let's see if we can save this. It's getting long. <laughs>